Hi, this is Dr. Joy Kong. As you know, I love stem cells, and I want to continue to tell you about my thoughts on Tony Robbins' book, Life Force, where he taught quite a bit about stem cells. And, um, and I want to express my uh, agreement with him that um, a lot of traditional doctors are not very positive when it comes to stem cells, not because they know so much about stem cell science and research, it's because they don't know. And there's very little that's taught to doctors about stem cells. So if you don't look for it, then you won't know that there are countless research all around the world on the subject. So it's also true that our stem cell supply decline as we age. So there's no way around it just by being alive. The number of stem cells decline, the quality also decline to a drastic degree. Maybe um, to by the time you, you're in your 40s, you only have about 20% of what you had when you were first born. So, and by the time you're 80, then it's even a lot less. It's about a quarter of what you had in your 40s. So, um, the other thing that the book um, got it really uh, right is that um, there's power in the birth tissue uh, source because when you were born or before you were born as you were forming, there are these, uh, your placenta and your umbilical cord is supplying nutrients to you. And the placenta did serve as a defense for the fetus. So very few mothers, you know, if they ever had cancer, ever passed cancer down to the baby, uh, the placenta could very much protect the baby from all kinds of infections or even diseases. Um, so in the placenta, uh, there are cells, pluripotent stem cells. But one thing that the book um, in that chapter um, mentioned that blood cells as compared to core blood stem cells as compared to placental stem cells um, has limitations because they can only develop into blood cells. And that is not correct because even if cells are from the core blood, even hematopoietic progenitor cells that you think only can develop into blood cells, they can actually develop into a much wider variety of stem cells, of cells. Um, so the science keeps evolving, and we now know that these cells have a lot more flexibility. So that's all I want to share at this point, and then um, I'll continue with my uh, feedback on the book, and I'll see you next time.